Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. There is never a bad time for some good friends. Dude, I'm in the bathroom. Get out of here. This is the Ace and Friends Radio Show. Fun, funny, and fast. Getting pumped up with the music for today's edition of Ace and Friends. I'm the modern day Mr. Rogers. My name is Ace. If you're not familiar, Riggins is here. Tag D. Rob is here. I am working through an injury today. The My um, permanent retainer behind my teeth on the bottom has a oh, this thing has come loose something has come loose and it's jabbing my tongue when I talk so the entire show today you know, sometimes you might hear me sometimes it works <laughs> they don't give you a warranty on those kind of things <clears throat> I don't know I don't think so but it's been you know what seven eight years since they put it on 2017 I believe they put it on 2016 so yeah it's kind of rough it's uh, it's a rough go at the moment <laughs> Yeah, and so occasionally every now and then I have to take my finger and stick it in there and push it down a little bit it works its way back out but while I'm talking it sticks in my tongue especially on certain words and certain sounds it would just it would just poke right into it which causes me to a word a little bit short there for a minute can you keep that forever I'm supposed to have the permanent retainer forever yeah So ideally it's in lieu of having to wear a retainer at night or having to wear you know, the, the, uh, what are the clear things, whatever it's called, which I do have. And they want me to do that also just to be on the safe side. But yeah. I have, I have a permanent retainer on the, uh, behind my teeth, top and bottom. Dang. Top one's never given me any trouble. It's the bottom one now that's poking me. Ugh. So <clears throat> I guess, you- I don't know if I was eating something last night or whatever that pulled it loose or what. Well, Yikes. I've bitten my lip like four times in the last few days. So I don't know if it's, who's got it worse to be honest with you. You bit your lip? The inside of my lip. And when you bite your lip, you know, it gets it swells up a little bit, so I keep biting it over and over again. Oh. I've bit my tongue before. I've never bit my lip. Oh, I, I get, you know, I get real into it from my chewing gum. And yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's Speaking of it, <laughs> we don't have time to talk about this right now, but I've got to tell you something. You reminded me of something, Rob, that I heard the other day. I was not told this firsthand, but a couple has gone and done something. They've gotten matching tattoos. But wait until I tell you what they got and where the tattoo is located. I'm curious to see how you feel about it. Uh, that and why an uncle would leave a voicemail for his niece that includes the phrase, quote, don't tell your daddy I said that. <laughs> <laughs> As next on Ace and Friends. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. Don't tell your daddy I said that. Hmm. Hmm. We'll explain that in a second. But um, I was told about this couple the other day that decided they wanted to get matching tattoos. And they did. They both got matching tattoos on the inside of their lip. <laughs> so no one else sees them. Now, yeah. the matching tattoo is the word daddy. Oh, God. <laughs> so she has a tattoo that says daddy on the inside of her lip now. And he has a tattoo that says daddy on the inside of his lip. He got the same one? The exact same one. Odd. I thought so. I was just curious what others might think. Do they have kids or anything? Nope. No. Mm. No. They do not. (laughs) Thankfully. Thankfully. Yeah, Uh, yeah, they do not have children. Not a fan. No. I know. I know that uh, that for about a year, 
a lot of people were getting the inside the lip tattoo. Yeah, and that was a thing for it. Ha, it had a minute, but just thought I'd share. <sighs> Those don't last as long, right? Because of the way your mouth heals itself. I don't, I don't know. know that. I don't know that. Is that true? I because I, I, I have like, no idea. Like any sort of like by, by the, you know how I said I bit my lip. Yeah. Like that's supposed to heal like in like a day or so, maybe. Really? Typically, but I keep biting it, so it doesn't work out for me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Be careful, Rob. <laughs> There's a trend on TikTok of people sharing voice messages that they have saved. Yeah. And they're weird. They're funny, whatever. Uh, here's one. Uh, a little bit uh, next level. She is a blonde, looks to be about, I don't know, 18, 19, 20, 21 at the oldest. Here we go. You know what? I've been looking at your pictures on Facebook. You turned into the one of the most beautiful ladies I'll ever see, I guess. Anyways, don't tell your dad I said that. I'm your uncle. Remember that. Bye. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. What? And that's a voicemail. Now, he could mean it as a, you know, as a comment. You, you, I've just seen your pictures. I just want to tell you, you've turned into a beautiful young lady. Uh, but God. is it the delivery? Well, is, is, no, he is, didn't mean it like that because he said, don't tell your daddy. Tell so dad. he knows full well. <laughs> That what he's saying is not <coughs> meant to just be some sort of casual, like, oh, I miss you, niece. It's just a series of unfortunate choices by this man. He made the choice to call her with this. He made the choice to leave that voicemail. And he made the choice to tell her not to tell her dad. <laughs> Don't exactly. tell your daddy I said that. I'll see you God. Uncle. Yeah. Oh Follow. Follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and you know you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer and make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call, 704 704-800-4719. 704-800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Cotto Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. There is a video that's gone viral from Charlotte Douglas International Airport. And in it, there is a man who is drunk who gets taken down to the ground because he's hassling another customer and they're waiting on a plane. And it's a two-part TikTok. At least it was the the one that I saw. There, there's more than one out there, but the one I saw is millions of views and likes and everything. But somebody messaged me and said, "Hey, didn't you have an incident with a drunk at Charlotte Douglas International Airport?" And I remember, I certainly did. Really? Not well on the plane. I've told you this story before. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. a long time. I'll tell you this story quickly. One of the wildest things that ever happened to me. My kids were little. We were flying to New Orleans, Louisiana. It was me and my ex-wife. Uh, we were married at the time on one side, the aisle, and my son and daughter. My daughter was about nine at the time, maybe eight or nine. So my son would have been about three or four. I think he was, probably, he was maybe four or five. Maybe she was nine, he was five, roughly. We sit down on the plane. I go to the restroom in the back of the plane. When I come back, as I sit down, my ex wife says to me, Hey, um, the guy behind Peyton is cussing a lot like really bad words. Um, and I said, okay, I'll keep an eye on it. You just be aware. She was, I think he might be drunk too. And I noticed there was a girl's softball team seated around us. And so the guy's on the phone and he's F this, hey, are we going to F and throw down? We get New Orleans, it's clear he's drunk. So he finishes his, his, his conversation. I just reached back and said, hey, excuse me. If you wouldn't mind, my kids are in front of you. and We got a lot of kids around. If you wouldn't mind just not now, if you were just not using the F word, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. He goes, what the F you going to do about it? I was like, oh, man, come on. This is, you no. know, come on, dude. We don't want to do this. No. I'm just asking, you know. He goes, no, man, what are you going to do? He said, tell you what, you don't like it. I tell you, when you get to New Orleans, me and my boys will take care of you. And I sometimes can have a short temper. And I snapped and jumped up and unbuckled my seatbelt and just said, why wait, my man? Why wait? So now I'm standing in the aisle of the plane towering over this guy, yelling, I'm 6'4". At the time, I was like 220. Not a healthy 220, but 220. And I'm standing, and I, and I said, why wait? Why don't you get your drunk ass up 
and I'll drag you out there in that jetway and I'll beat you out there, leave you there. Then I'll take care of your boys when I get to New Orleans. And now we have drawn the attention of the entire plane. And the guy goes, hey, man, calm down. It's all right, man. It's okay, man. Hey, ah, sorry, man. Sorry. About that time, uh, a guy comes from the back of the plane, and we, we had a plane with a marshal on it. And the marshal's like, hey, excuse me. And he, and he just opens his jacket like, I want everybody to see this. Look at that. We're going to get off the plane, sir. And they threw him off the plane. And as the guy's leaving, he looks back and yells at me, hey, thanks, man. Thanks. I said, anytime, anytime. Yikes. Did people, other people know that that guy was the problem and it yes. wasn't you? They knew, no, they, they, he was drunk. People around us knew that he was they drunk. Knew. And they knew, well, and they saw him take him off the plane. Yeah, yeah. And then the, that guy behind me, the, a dad of one of the softball players, taps him and goes, Hey, man, thank, we just know we had your back on that. Like, well, nobody said or moved. Where were until you? I was in the bathroom when it yeah. started. What are you talking about? Were the kids crying at all or anything? We got up, Peyton was crying. And I was like, Peyton, it's okay. Everything's fine. Look, it worked out yeah. fine. We got off the plane. And we were walking up the jetway in New Orleans, and Peyton goes, I can't believe my dad almost got in a fight on the plane. And Cade turns and goes, who got in a fight? Didn't even know. He'd been watching them load the bags out the window. He had no idea anything had come on out there. How, how telling was None that? At all. We came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Richard Chicago, the Richard Chicago Companies is here, and you know he's all about options. That's what you're always saying. I got options. I got options. What no, are the yeah, options? the options are to to get the equity of your house at the most cost effective way that's going to save you the most amount of money, paying off credit cards, home improvement, whatever you want to do. And that's one of the reasons you would use the Richard Chicago Companies instead of a bank because they give you so many options. And it all starts with one free five minute phone call: seven zero four eight hundred forty seven nineteen, or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Chicago Companies. Equal housing opportunity in MLS number 38652. Yes, it's the news, but this time it's all good. This is the good news with Ace and Friends. Again, second day in a row. Really, really good, good news today. A woman in Ohio named Megan Schultz is giving her old sorority sister a kidney. Even though they haven't seen each other in 10 years, the surgery is set for November 12th. Uh, Jen House is the friend. Megan got tested after she saw something about her kidney search on social media. She recently FaceTimed Jen to give her the good news. They posted the video online. It's blowing up everywhere. That's awesome. Good for them. It's good karma. Also, this is kind of a fun video if you've ever seen it. It's a good idea. A woman surprised her dad and told him that he's going to be a grandfather. They filmed it. They cried. Mm -hmm. They hugged it. It's great. Then, as soon as they got the dad's like, oh, that's such good news. Her sister goes, oh, guess what? I'm also pregnant. Da, 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 da. They wow. planned the whole thing. They're three weeks apart, due in late December and early January. I've been there when my brothers and their wives tell my parents that they're going to have another kid for yeah. like four of them. And it's always amazing. They've oh, done such a good job so at surprising exciting. my parents with it. So exciting. Yeah. And a 48 year old guy went hiking in Kentucky this month and never came home. So a big search and rescue mission was put out. Nobody found him. It seems hard to believe with all the technology yeah. and everything that we have. But. They were about to stop looking because he'd been missing for two weeks. Two weeks. Last day of the search. They're like, this is the last day that we're going to have to call this thing off. Somebody found him. Alive. Alive. Oh. Severely dehydrated. <laughs> covered in bug bites. Unable to walk. They were able to airlift him out. They said he is expected to make a full recovery and be totally healthy. Wow. But two weeks, he'd been laying out there in the forest in Kentucky. I'd be dead in 48 hours. For sure. I'd probably still have food and water and I'd still be, <laughs> you still still be, be dead. dead. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I just can't pull this I'd together. <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. A, a game that we created yesterday that everybody seemed to enjoy. Metal Worthy Rankings. Another round. Coming up next. <laughs> Follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and Friends. So the Olympics underway. They're doing massive ratings. Was it 41 and a half million people watched Sunday? I need to check and see how Monday turned out too. But... 
with that many people watching, it seems like we're all kind of in the mood to rank things like gold, silver, bronze. So we created a game called Metal Worthy Rankings. There are four options. You have to rank each one as to which would get the gold, the silver, the bronze, and the one that would be left out. For example, best animated movie. Here are your four options. Mm. The Lion King, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Frozen. Toy Story. Rob, you're the movie expert. So you give yeah. the Toy Story gets the gold. Yeah. Followed by? Uh, what what gets the silver for you? Um, the Lion King. Okay. Uh, bronze? Finding Nemo. And so you would leave Frozen out. It's it's good, but it's not it's not as good as yeah. those other. Okay, things. sounds good. Uh, Riggins' best animated movies. What gets the gold? Ex I do the exact same thing because I've never even seen Frozen, and I'm pretty sure I've only seen half of like Finding Nemo. I was an adult when those came out. Yeah, I would move. Uh, I would go Toy Story gold. I would move Finding Nemo to uh, silver. Lion King is my bronze, and Frozen is the one that I've just seen the least of because yeah, I, I, I didn't have kids in that in that that time frame yeah, it's, you know? it's perfectly fine mo movie but it's it's nowhere near the level of the okay <laughs> favorite reality tv shows here are your four mm -hmm. options survivor the bachelor big brother the real housewives Ooh, all, all right. right so here are your four riggins what gets the gold survivor okay that was S the first one the best one silver i'd go uh, real housewives i guess okay and your bronze um big brother Really? You're leaving The Bachelor out completely? Yeah, I don't, I don't care about The Bachelor. Yeah, okay. Uh, Rob? Survivor's number one. Gets your gold. Silver? Uh, big Brother. Gold, uh, uh, bronze? <sighs> I, I hate the Bachelor or The Real Housewives? Uh, I think The Bachelor, because The Real Housewives are just really catty. I have the same yeah. as you, Rob, but I go The Real Housewives over The Bachelor. I think it's hysterical. <laughs> what the real housewives? I do. I think it can be. I think it can be really, really funny. Yeah, they're just awful there. people. Yeah. Okay. Um, last one we have time for here. Uh, favorite inventions of? Well, no, I want to do that one. That one's not as good. Uh, favorite snacks: mm. chips, popcorn, pretzels, nuts, Riggins, gold medal, chips, silver, popcorn, bronze. Uh, Exactly the way you said. It. What was the third one? Nuts. Uh, oh, third no. one, pretzels. Pretzels okay. and then nuts. And then nuts. Okay. So, uh, Teddy D. Rob, gold, chips, Bron uh, silver. It's, it's going to surprise you, but I'm going to say popcorn. Okay. Bronze. Pretzels. Exact same order. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh man, I would have had yeah. nuts was my silver. Oh no, I don't want nuts. That. Yeah. I mean, I love pistachios, but they're not better than popcorn. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a big... Popcorn's a give or take for me. It's not a really? big deal. Popcorn, unless, because, unless you're at the movies. Popcorn can be delicious, but I I, I, I get it stuck in my teeth, so I don't eat it very yeah. often. I think nuts are better than popcorn. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> you would. We should here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and you know you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer and make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call, 704 800-4719 704-800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com Mr. Cotto Company, Equal Housing Opportunity NMLS number 38652 Ace and Friends Riggins used to work Is it your first job at the grocery store? Yeah You were 15? Uh, second job, but yeah, I was 15 yeah. And uh, Riggins worked at a grocery store mm -hmm. And for that reason he says he's not upset when people leave their buggies out of their what do you call it? What the are, corral or yeah. the but what not the buggy what what are other people call car, shopping cart. shopping cart yeah um when they leave them out in the parking lot because he used to love that when they were out there that gave him the chance to be at work and be outside yeah kind of get away from the inside a little while and go out there and, and pick them all up and yeah everything. unless it was raining that kind of sucked but yeah overall i didn't mind it at all yeah so what are some things that everybody complains about and it don't bother you too much so again things everybody else complains about that don't bother you too much like a lady named nikita said slime play-doh glitter love seeing her kids play with it doesn't bother because that yeah. stuff gets messy in your house a lot of times yeah. that's why people glitter is the <sighs> yeah glitter gets on everything you can't never get let of it. glitter get in your house i'll give you another one uh people eating well done steak oh. i don't care at all i it think doesn't... i think it's not for me but I, who cares what do you care same thing I'm not offended by it. It doesn't. Like, oh, yeah. I think it's a poor choice. But yeah, that's me your too. Choice. It doesn't matter to me at if all. If you want to eat your steak with ketchup, I don't care. God bless you but and your horrible steak. I've got a friend who is a. I mean, he's an excellent. 
uh, chef in general, very similar. I got a couple of friends that are really good chefs, but anyway, he said, um, he won't grill you. If you want it well done, I'm going to take everything else off and you can stand out there and finish it up the way you want it. I mean, give me a Get break out of here with that. Yeah. Um, Taylor said the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Yeah. Didn't bother me. Oh, that yeah, was yours, Rob. The controversy. Didn't I mean, bother you all that much. It didn't bother me. I, I mean, it, was, it wasn't interesting to watch, yeah. but, it, you know. uh, Christy said slow drivers. Yeah, go around. Just them. enjoy the slow pace in the view. Oh, come on. Well, no, no, I don't. <laughs> I can't get behind that. I was no. going to say, well, you could just go in the other lane and get around them. Yeah, I'm not enjoying the slow pace in the view. No. Uh, uh, Sharon said, putting the toilet paper roll on backwards. It rolls either way, so it doesn't matter to me. No, she's wrong. Yeah, it has, to go, it has to go over the top. Over the top. And yeah, it yeah, can yeah. be changed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you. But, but if you see it and it's incorrect, just change it. Yeah. I, I get if you have cats or children. You have to put it the other way so that when they pull it, it doesn't just unravel the whole roll. But never thought about that. I didn't either. I had two kids. Cats Maybe I kids. should have thought about that already. <laughs> cats probably are the bigger culprit here. Well, kids are going to pull it out either way. But I'm just saying, like, like if they just met, like, paw at the front of it. Most it's mostly for cats. But, mostly for cats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. Uh, Carmen cool. said, uh, "Kids being out of school. I love for mine to be home." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's be nice to have good kids. Yeah, and Amanda said, <laughs> self-checkout. I'd rather do it myself. Except if I'm trying to check out. And if you're trying to buy alcohol, like buy wine or something, you got to yeah. wait for somebody blade. to come over. Can y'all just give me that? I'm in here every day buying wine. Can y'all just give me Uh-oh. the numbers so I can just punch this thing up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. So Tech D. Rob is in a relationship, has been for nine years now. Right, Rob? Almost nine years. Uh, almost 10. I almost, I'm sorry, almost 10. Yeah, it's been down almost 10. 10 uh, years. Riggins is single, completely single. Bless you, Rob. Thank you. Um, so just curious. I've been married now for, this is my second marriage. I've been married for uh, a little over three years, this go around. We've been together about seven or so, about seven years now. Um, she's much younger than me, and I'm not even joking about that. She's 24 years younger than me. Damn. I know, my life's a mess. I got a 13-month-old. I'm a wreck, but... I want to play a game called either or in a relationship. Okay. Uh, you've got to make a decision which is more acceptable. For example, would you rather Riggins date a woman who uh, pounds energy drinks or alcoholic drinks? Energy drinks. Even though you think energy drink people are trashy. Uh, no, I don't. I don't say that. You you don't. No, no. but she says trashy people do drink energy drinks. Right. right. Not all. Yeah. Not right. all people who drink energy drinks are trashy, but all trashy people drink energy drinks. Right. Don't. <laughs> Don't put, Don't put that on me. That's fair. Okay, so energy drinks over alcoholic yeah. drinks. Okay. Uh, same with you, Rob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Would you rather date a woman who's too loud or dresses, quote, unquote, too sexy? Uh, I'd rather have too sexy. You'd rather too her dress loud. too sexy than be too loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah me yeah. too. Okay. All right. Um, Whatever that means. Would you rather have a woman who cusses around your parents or... Wears a thong bikini around your parents at their pool. Oh, thong bikini. I'm going with cussing. Okay, I think they would find the thong bikini less offensive than the cussing. Yeah, Rob, you'd rather you rather them cuss than wear a thong around your mom. I think so because my my mom would be more taken aback by the really. Thong. Yeah, she would be. Okay, yeah, she lets loose on on some cuss words every once in a while. <laughs> Okay. Which would you rather have to hide from your parents? That you're dating a woman with an OnlyFans page or you're dating a woman with a little bit of a drug habit? Oh, my God. Which would you rather hide? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather hide the OnlyFans. Yeah, I think I'd rather hide. You'd be OnlyFans. okay if you, like, like, my parents, I think my parents know that she does drugs. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. More than well, I'm not okay knows. with it. Right, right. Yeah, which gotta, is which is worse? <laughs> Big difference. So you'd rather hide the OnlyFans page from I think them? So. Correct. Would they be very disappointed if they found out you were dating somebody with an OnlyFans? Probably, but you know what? They probably, I'd say OnlyFans if they found out they still would. I'd have to explain it to them in detail, so it might not even be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like Instagram, but, but for your butt. Say, it's for your <laughs> butt. Yeah. We came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. 
Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help, because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now, and consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. Something happened a few minutes ago that reminded me. I have been in a similar situation. We were playing a game called Either Or. And one of the questions was, would you rather have some somebody who dates someone who cusses around your parents or wears a thong bikini around your parents? Riggins said he'd rather have somebody that wears the thong and doesn't cuss. And Rob said he'd rather have somebody that cusses but doesn't wear the thong. I had a similar situation years ago. And I mentioned this earlier talking about my marriage. That we had this, this age gap. It's my second marriage. So I already had kids when I started, when I met and started dating Amanda. And my son at the time was, I think, 13 when we started dating, yeah, 13, 14. And one of the first times I dated Amanda for a year, almost a full year before they met, she met either one of my kids. And we had gone out during the summer after they had met, we'd gone out on the boat one day. This was probably a month or so, six weeks after the, after she had met my son, Cade, because they met Memorial Day weekend. And <laughs> we were going out on the boat and Amanda had come over and she brought two bikinis in case the kids were going. My daughter Peyton at the time was busy. Kate was like, I can't make it, whatever. I said, okay, no problem. So Amanda chose, uh, you know, as you would, skimpy thong bikini for the two of us to go out, just the two of us out on the boat together. So we're out hanging out, floating in the water, having a great time, just relaxing during the day. And I get a message from Cade, my then 13 year old son that was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I got done early. So why don't you come pick me up at the dock? I'm like, I was like, okay, sounds good. And as we're riding the dock, Amanda goes, oh, I just can't get back in the water. I have to sit here with a towel wrapped around me for the you know, <laughs> for the next two hours. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't think about that. What am I yeah. going to say? She goes, Well, you couldn't tell him no because you yeah. know you can't tell him no. I just, I guess I should have brought another bikini and changed while I'm out yeah. here or something. Good for her. That's a, that's a super classy yeah. move for her so to do. She did manage to, um, I guess I drew his attention so she could jump in the water and get on a float. Yeah. <laughs> and then so he couldn't see. Then when she came up back on the boat, she went to the back of the boat and came up the back. And I just had a towel for her. She just wrapped herself up in a towel. So um, I'm sure at some point he realized what was happening. But maybe not. I don't know. Maybe He's not. kind of oblivious to the He whole didn't thing. see you getting a fight on that plane. He probably yeah. didn't know. <laughs> he didn't, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that, that was that was cool of her to do. Yeah, she was trying like she was like, well, now I'm kind of stuck. What do yeah. I do? So she's always been pretty cautious about that. Yeah. Uh, he though does enjoy telling me. Uh, one day he told me I had to tell somebody, and when he was in high school, guy, I guess the guy looked up my Instagram and held it up and goes, "Man, that's your stepmom." <laughs> he was oh. like, "Hey, dude, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. Roll that back a little bit, buddy." Weird. <laughs> Follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and you know you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer and make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call, 704 704- 800 704-800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Cotto Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and Friends. I just remembered another story. This is terrible, but it's kind of funny. Now, in hindsight, when my now wife and I first started dating, my kids knew I was seeing someone, but I didn't know uh, the details. I just knew, hey, I'm kind of seeing somebody, blah, blah, that kind of thing. And it was during the summer because they went, it was almost a full year before my, that I'd been dating him in. And my kids were, like I said before, they were teenagers at the time. My daughter was a senior in high school when she met Amanda. 
and my son was in the eighth grade, seventh or eighth grade. So um, one day during the summer before they'd met, Amanda came over. We were going to hang out. I was living in this apartment complex, and we were going to go to the pool at the apartment. And she was going to come over. And then Peyton, my daughter, called and said, Dad, I've got to go to this thing for school. And all the water in our neighborhood is out. There was a, what do you call it, a break in the yeah, line? Yeah, water, kind of water line And break. they had temporarily shut the water off to the entire neighborhood for, and they said, it's going to be a couple hours. Oh, my God. I need to come take a shower at your place. Oh, oh, oh Okay. I'm on my way. She was already in the car on the way. Okay. Well, she hadn't met Amanda yet. So Amanda said, hey, don't worry. Here's what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the pool by myself. I'll hang out down there. Peyton will shower. Then she'll leave. Whatever. It's, it'll be fine. I, I, you know, you come join me. we get a head start. Great. Peyton gets there. She's in the shower. Peyton was a talker. She would talk. So she gets in this, takes her shower, comes out of the shower. And I said, like, well, what time do you need to beat your thing? She goes, oh, not for another hour. I don't have to leave here for about an hour. Oh, okay. All right. And then I look outside and it starts to rain. Oh, no. And Amanda's stuff is all, she put it in the, in the closet in the spare bedroom in my apartment. She's out at the pool in the rain. I think her car was open. She managed to get in her car. Oh. Wet from rainwater. Yeah. Just sitting there. Can't, Can't come, come upstairs. Inside. Can't oh. get her stuff to go home. Can't do anything. She wasn't living there, though, right? No, it was just, she wasn't They just hadn't met she yet. She brought her stuff over, you know, all this kind of stuff. So she, she just didn't just, want to meet her under unusual well, circumstances. Well, it had only been a few months. So I was like, yeah. hey, just, just be cool. I don't want to, you know. And she was totally cool about it. But yeah. she was, and then she said, I was sitting in my car, wet, in a bikini, driving rain, couldn't get my stuff, yeah. couldn't leave. I'm trapped. And I just started to cry. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, that's horrible. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh. Then it all worked out. Yeah, it worked out fine. Long but... word, it became a funny story that we shared later with Peyton, and she found, <laughs> it, she found it amusing. You know? I was sobbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds worse than it is. Right? This is Ace and Friends. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is Ace and Friends. I am fascinated by this movement. There's kind of an anti-Airbnb, anti-Verbo movement going on these days because they start putting so many restrictions and so many rules down and charging you for extra things. And people are now saying, like, it's, I just might as well stay in a hotel. It's usually cheaper. It's cheaper, and it's not nearly the hassle. I don't have to clean up after myself. Yeah. I, you start to see the benefits sure. of just going to a hotel. But there is a lady here who put together a TikTok of new rules that she's instituted with her Airbnb. But in her case, she's got a pretty good reason because there are some evil geniuses out there. Here she's describing why she had to do this because of what one of her Airbnb clients did. The guest not only set up an electric vehicle station, which usually is expensive, it's minimal. That guest also mined crypto. And so I looked back at the footage when they were leaving we don't have internal cameras. Don't everybody have a heart attack? And they were bringing out like 10 different computers. So it was cheaper for them to rent a house to pay for that electricity. So it ended up, my electric bill ended up being $1,500 for that three week stay. So I went back and I charged them and I explained um, and I had to fight that on Airbnb. But that's one of my weird rules is you cannot mine crypto or set up an electric vehicle station. <laughs> Never even considered that. Never crossed my mind. I was like, what is she talking about? But oh, it's cheaper God. to just rent the house and charge the electricity to them. Because mining crypto, you have to have a lot of computers using a lot of energy to do it. It's crazy. And the energy bill would just be cheaper to just rent a house. That's crazy. Well, turns out it actually isn't cheaper. <laughs> Well, yeah, she's going to try to charge it, but yeah. she said she had to fight Airbnb on it. But I'm sure they, they might have had to deal with that, but they're like, what are you saying? You know, but I just wonder if Airbnb or somebody had to pay her to keep her active or something. But it, how do you charge the people? It wasn't in there before. Yeah, if that wasn't in the in the thing and there was no clause about excessive electricity use or something like that, what yeah. are you going to do? You're going mad? I'm too bad. Yeah, bite the bullet on that one. 
Yeah. They even say when you, if somebody's mining crypto, you can see like through a heat camera above the houses because those computers create so much heat. You can tell like which houses are mining crypto. I mean, it's they like had, a whole thing. They had 10 computers running 24 seven mining crypto probably for three weeks. Yeah. And charging their Tesla at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Hey, we're here once again with our friend Richard Tocato of the Richard Tocato Companies. And there are a lot of people in credit card debt right now. I mean, the credit card debt is hot. Now, Richard is the guy that could possibly be relieving you of that credit card heat. That's right. Let's cool you off for summer. Ooh. No payments till fall mm -hmm. and get rid of all the credit card debt. Ace, we paid off $67,000 with the extra equity that everybody is gaining in this market Literally, she is saving $1,326 a month. If you have credit card debt, get rid of it. Take the a, pressure off. This is a member of the radio family who is saving $1,326 a month, all using the equity within her, within her home, all because she called 704-800-4719 and let Richard show her how it works. Or you can also go to homewithrichard.com. But again, You've got the money right there. Let the Richard Tocato Companies help you. 704-800-4719. The Richard Tocato Companies. Richard Tocato Companies. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. Ace and Friends. Uh, there is a BuzzFeed article. 17 outdated behaviors from the past that would be considered incredibly strange to do today. So things that were commonplace years ago, but now are odd. For example, smoking in hospitals. There used to be areas of the hospital where you could smoke. Obviously, now you would think, what? Um, anytime you answered a phone, you had no idea who was calling you. Yeah. yeah. There was a time before caller ID was a big thing and it was invented. But there was a time before caller ID, you just answered the phone. Diabolical. <laughs> do, you, do you remember there, there was one point where if you had like Dish Network or something, it would yell out the number that was calling you through your... Your satellite. It used to pop up on my direct TV when I had direct TV when I first got it. It would show up on that. I was like, this is super annoying. Yeah. Um, um, the yellow pages. Oh, gosh. Like the, somebody said, the phone book in general. If you knew someone's name, you could find their address and phone number. If you did not want your name and phone number in the book, you had to pay extra to have an unlisted number. My Crazy. favorite, though, is it says, says um, just not knowing. If you were meeting up with a friend at a certain place and time and they didn't show up, there was no way to follow up. That's crazy. If you didn't know whether a certain celebrity was alive or dead, you ask a friend and hope they were right. Where's the closest veterinarian? What does it mean when my car makes a beeping sound? What year did the Hundred Years War end? What should you do if you break a toe? Pre-internet, all of these things were mysteries. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And you have, I don't think about that a lot. Yeah, you had to hope you had smart friends or a very well-stocked library nearby. Mm-hmm. That's why you need an encyclopedia. Yeah. Hmm. Um, just didn't know. Always carrying dimes, quarters, went on a date in case things went sideways because you had to use payphone. Oh, At first it was dimes, then it became quarters. But yeah, especially women were always told, make sure you've got change so you can you need to pay in case you need to get away from this person who's payphone. I didn't know that it was ever less than a quarter. Yeah, yeah, it was a dime. It used to be a dime. dime. I mean, I think in our lifetime, Riggins probably wasn't. Just it was always yeah a always a quarter because when I was well, like you know Travis Street had here's here's a quarter call someone who cares and that, that I was a kid when that came out yeah that so. was in the mid nineties oh sure I remember that um, the sounds younger people will never know of listening to your modem connect to the internet was such a specific oh. strange series of noises that it is instantly recognizable to anyone who lived during that time of dial up <laughs> numbers yeah it is <laughs> um, and then I think one of Riggins' favorites the milkman. Milk, eggs, cheese, yeah. and other dairy adjacent items are delivered to the house weekly. Oh, I didn't know that eggs and cheese got yeah. delivered too. Dairy stuff in general can really? be delivered. Yeah. I think that's so cool. Having the milkman come drop off fresh milk. I don't even like milk. <laughs> I just like the idea. In of hindsight, it. it is kind of cool when you think about yeah. it. Yeah. You would just pay this service and they would always deliver every week four gallons or whatever it might yeah. be. Yeah. Two gallons of milk. I would have them deliver like. Uh, I don't know. I was going to say cheesesteaks. I was like, wait a minute. That's called Uber Eats. <laughs> we do have that. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting. And good sitting. 
love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. You are about to meet a woman who learned of a pain that most men, not all men, but most men have experienced more than once in their lives. Um, this is her, her TikTok. She's driving a truck, leaning out the window, talking to a guy who's in a car. You can't see the guy. Ask for your number. Yeah. And he drives away. If you couldn't hear what he said, she said, I get your number. And then she goes, he says something. She goes, yeah. And he responds with, and I quote, I'm okay. Thank you. Ooh. And he drives away. Ooh. Mm. How's it like? How do you, how do you feel now? Yeah. A little how taste of your that? own medicine. <laughs> now you know what it's like. And you know what? He was nice about it. He was, I'm okay. And, and a lot of women, when you ask for their number, they treat you like you're a stupid idiot. Yeah. And you know, they're oh, so dismissive. That rejection when you do something like, um, I don't know. Did y'all have, we would have a high school dance. We had a dance after every home football game. And you'd see some girl, you're like, I don't know that girl. I'm going to go and ask her to dance. And you walk over there and like, you like to dance? Goes, I know. Oh, yeah. Like, okay, but see, now i got to walk all the way across this gym back over to where my friends are. Yeah. And they saw me walk all the way over here. So, okay. All right. The 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 wrong thing to do is to go. Oh yeah, well you know what you're fat. You're not, you can't. Yeah. You just have to accept the the no yeah. and move along. You don't want to be that guy. That you turns don't want to be that dude. The, the ugly rejected guy that yeah. just says, "I was getting mean now." Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I don't want to dance with your. <laughs> anyway, yeah. no, that's you. Can't. You have to draw the line yeah. and just take the L. And move on. And what makes it worse is because clearly you are lying because you did want to dance with her. Yeah. Or you did want to go over there. Uh, would you like to go out sometime? I don't think so. Nah, I don't like going out with fat girls or something anyway. You're yeah. Like, well, yeah, you did. Clearly, yeah. you you she wasn't that way five seconds ago. You're yeah, exactly. even more of a loser now than you were yeah. before. Yeah. So she has, in that video, she handles it well. But uh, I know a lot of other guys are like, hell yeah, yeah, stand up for the boys. What makes it a little bit easier for her, though, is he drives off. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, he left the scenario. So she didn't have to then to, you know, like, walk away and think, he's staring at me right now. But also, if even if you're if you're a 2 out of 10 and a girl asks for my number, I'm going to give her my number. Yeah, yeah, probably so. Yeah. In traffic, I would be yeah. over the moon of some random woman. I don't care what you look like. She said, like, hey, I just thought you were cute. Can I get your number? I'm like, yes. Hell, yeah, I'll give it to you twice. I'm about married. That? And I'd be giving it out. <laughs> Hell yes, yeah. That's my number. Of course you can. Man. This is Ace and Friends. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and Friends. I'm going to ask a question I believe I know the answer to, and this is something I shouldn't do, and I'm probably sharing too much on this program today, but I just realized something about myself, just the way I have my computer set up today, and it, maybe it's a sign of a bigger issue that I have in my life. So um, I have a Mac, and I don't know if it's like if everybody says the same, but there's a button here. You can hit a button, and it, it uh, doesn't minimize everything. It just makes it a little bit smaller so you can see everything that you have open on the screen. Mm -hmm. So when I hit, I just hit that button a second ago looking for something for Ace and Friends. And there's our metal worthy uh, rankings that I have all typed out. And there's some uh, another thing for the show that I've typed out. There's my window for my my uh, uh, Safari browser. Mm -hmm. Minimizes with a couple of things that we have. And there are... Um, there are two pictures on there because my wife got a new bikini the other day and sent me the uh, pictures when she tried it on. Like, do you like this? And I thought she looked so hot. I just left them open for a couple of days. So every now and then I just hit my computer and go, oh, like, oh yeah, I'm looking at her bikini. It looks so fire. You okay, I go bikini to is just, that a, everything is that is a I have an issue, I think. <laughs> Another question about your computer. Like, that's, been, that's been three days, I think, like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, still looking hot. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that weird? Is that flattering? <laughs> it's weird. Uh, no, it's would, not weird. Would it be flattering to her? I would think so, yeah. Yeah. I'll ask her. I'll, be, I'll ask her and report back tomorrow if she's flattered by that. <laughs> or she just thinks like, she's weird. That's too much. Yeah, maybe. So before I know the first thing she'll say, like, you talked about this on the show? That's too much. <laughs> Every time you bring her up, it's about her in a bikini. I know. It is. <laughs> it's summer. What do you know? That's, all that's, I, that's three times today. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> What is her personality? Does she have any redeeming things about her personality? No, no oh, she I had to hide her from no my doubt. kids. Yeah. Well, that was different, Rob. That's not fair to say that. That's not. If you didn't hear the context of that story, she looked so damn good. I had to hide her from her. No, that is not what I said. Did not mean it in that way. A lot of bikini talk today. Yeah, yeah it she was, looks good. It was only one other bikini talk, and that was just a, 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 only related to a funny story that we had right before that. That was the reason that I brought that up. And then she was at the pool, and your dog came over also in a bikini, and then I crying in her car in a bikini. Wouldn't say anything about the bikini in that scenario. <laughs> she did. Well, only because it kind of creates a feeling. Just sitting in your car crying. I agree. Totally I told her she dog. had to leave the house, and she could only leave in her bikini. I did not <laughs> say that, Rob. That is not fair. Do not do not put that on me right now. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. I don't know how many people know this, but Tech D. Rob, when he travels, we've talked about it some, it's an elaborate setup. Rob's got to have a box fan and a blanket and the thing. He's got, it's a lot going on. Um, but we do think Rob's travel setup is trumped by this lady who is on a cruise. And she and her friend are on the cruise together. But she has a rather involved travel setup to sleep. I'm on sleep. a cruise and my roomie does not have the same sleep needs that I have. So this is Sleep Tent 2.0. We're going to... Sleep Tent 2.0, by the way. She's uh, hooked like little hooks in the ceiling and made a little deal that goes all the way around a, a sheet that goes all the way around her bed. Completely covers her bed, which is up against the wall. Right. Look at it. She's inside Welcome the thing inside now. my sleep tent, 2.0. So I've got two little blankies here. Under here, I've got a soft blankie and then another soft blankie That's that four. I sleep on top of and below. Now we move up to the head tent. This is just a beach shade that I sleep inside. I also do at home. But this is my travel sleep tent. Here we have Emily, of course. Stuffed animal. Over here, we have a white noise machine. <laughs> it's loud. In the secret area of my head tent, we have another white noise machine. It's, it's not as loud, but it's in the head tent with me. Inside the head tent, you will see that there are multiple earplugs. And finally, <laughs> some ambient. And in this way, Princess and the Pea can get some sleep. It's unbelievable. That so is she brings ridiculous. Holy crap. Four blankets. This is what she brings just to sleep. It's four blankets, two white noise machines, a little beach tent that she sticks her head into with the pillow that she brings with her, <laughs> multiple sets of earplugs, Ambien. A full bottle mm -hmm. of Ambien. Plus this thing that attaches to the ceiling that goes around two sides of the bed completely enclosing her because the other two sides of the bed are against the wall. It's almost like a shower curtain, a huge shower yeah. curtain to close her up. What are you doing? That's not any way to travel. Like, I'd be like, no, I don't I don't feel like going yeah. then. If I have to bring all, schlep all that stuff that's onto a cruise. Be, that's got to be an entire suitcase that is just the sleep stuff. And what's the deal with the tent, your head in a tent? Sleep just your head. Your head. It has it, it like just, what's it's the pillow what is size, that? Or just your head sticks in there, and I don't know. How does that help you? <laughs> you, you have, look crazy. But you have two white noise machines and earbud and earbuds. 
Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's right. If your ear plugs in, what do you need the sound machine for? And you're on Ambien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on Ambien. <laughs> and then on the other side of the room, there's just nothing. There's just a stock bed that comes on the cruise ship. Like that, that her roommate has nothing over there. I don't even want to travel with you. You're yeah. a freak. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here, and you know he's all about options. That's what you're always saying. I got options. I got options. What no, are the yeah, options? the options are to to get the equity of your house at the most cost effective way that's going to save you the most amount of money, paying off credit cards, home improvement, whatever you want to do. And that's one of the reasons you would use the Richard Takato Companies instead of a bank because they give you so many options. And it all starts with one free five minute phone call: seven zero four eight hundred forty seven nineteen, or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Takato Companies. Equal housing opportunity in MLS number 38652. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. So Riggins just muttered something under his breath that we need to talk about. What did you say about Ambien? I've always wanted to try an Ambien. <laughs> but you sleep so well. Yeah, I don't have any sleep troubles at all. But I just know if I took an Ambien, I would probably, I feel like I'd have the best sleep of my life. When is the last time you laid down to go to sleep and had difficulty falling asleep, Riggins? I couldn't tell you. you could, I, oh, I what you. a beautiful thing. I'm now, Tech D. Rob is the exact opposite. He has a lot of sleep problems. You've taken Ambien, but you're off of it now, right, Rob? Correct. I haven't had it in uh, probably a year and a half. Yeah. And why did you come off of Ambien? Because my doctor said he didn't recommend it. Yeah. But Buzz you kill. said it would like, like they heard noises. Now Rob, who has sleep problems, they heard a noise at their house one time, and his girlfriend Meredith could not get him awake enough to go check it out. She had to go yeah. do it because Rob couldn't couldn't get to himself enough to go check it out. Yeah, there were there was somebody looked like they were trying to break into our cars, and Rob was unable to function. I, I was like, huh? What? <laughs> so you are getting good sleep, but. Well, imagine though, my point is not that. My point is, Reeds, imagine if that does that to Rob with his yeah. terrible sleep, you would just be under. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Meredith has taken one one time before and she got the opposite effect. She was kind of wired and like uh, nervous a little bit. Like she was really? just shaky a little bit. And she said, I'll she, never do that again. She's a rookie at taking drugs. <laughs> I, I have some experience in this Quite, field. Yeah, I feel like. All right, that's fair. I feel like I it would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Riggins' body comes into the experiment prepped and ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good to go. Yeah. On a regular night, if you go to sleep on a Friday night, Riggins, knowing you don't have anything to do on Saturday, you don't yeah. have to wake up early, how long do you normally sleep? On the weekends, maybe five hours. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. I sleep way more during the week than I do on the weekends because I pop up at like 6 o'clock. But then you... But then you Usually take like a nap or something. In the I might I might take like a forty five minute nap. You could, I bet you're like, you could probably sleep 12, 14 hours. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, I've never slept you know that long, but I think it would be amazing. You feel like you know a snake shedding its skin. You yeah. just feel awake, you know, refreshed and ready to tackle the world. I think my favorite thing out of this whole day is the fact that your body is prepped and ready to, sure. to take some drugs. I'm an experienced <laughs> drug taker. <laughs> <laughs> well. We'll see. Maybe somebody listening is alone. You one. They're not yeah. gonna want it back. <laughs> well, yeah. good. No, because I will be taking it. Is it? That's Ill- I shouldn't say that's illegal. Yeah, I think no, that I'm is sorry. illegal. Okay. But hey, but. hit us up. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh. Do not send me any Ambien. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely don't do that. <laughs> follow, follow. follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.